Farmers in northern India's Uttar Pradesh state once had to sell their wheat and other crops to local middlemen. But now they can get higher prices for their crops thanks to the Internet. In the village of Hathras, farmers can go to the local Internet kiosk where they have access to a network set up by India's tobacco company. On the network, known as Ichopal, they can check prices and sell their products online. Raj Kumar Sharma is the hub's coordinator in Hathras. The benefits of each Opal are that uh, we get information on rates right here in the village. We get uh, weather reports in our village too. So we know the forecast for temperatures and rain in advance so pesticide can be applied at the right times. Farmer Sanjay Sharma also is pleased because buying fertilizer and other goods is easier and cheaper. We faced a lot of problem earlier. Sometime we bought fertilizer in the black market and there were times it was not available and we would grow potatoes without fertilizer. Each Upal has given this benefit to us. Hathras is among more than 6,000 Indian villages that are now connected to the Ichopal system, an example of how technology is changing the lives of farmers. Rice farmers dramatically boosted their production during the so-called Green Revolution, when scientists 40 years ago began developing high-yield crop varieties. The Green Revolution's technological advances dramatically improved grain production. Mark Rosegrant is with the International Food Policy Research Institute in Washington. The Green Revolution had an overwhelmingly positive impact in terms of a huge increase in production, particularly in Asia and to some extent in Latin America, uh, significant increases in farmer incomes and, and contributing to a rapid reduction of poverty and, and food insecurity. But the easy gains from the Green Revolution have waned and overuse of fertilizer and pesticides also have harmed the environment. What you see now is more maintenance research and trying to adapt to new pest varieties that come along, new insects that come and attack the varieties. So there's a lot going on for, in research, but the investment hasn't been high enough to generate a, sort of another round of very rapid productivity growth. One field of research is developing biofortified crops, varieties bred for increased mineral and vitamin content to help reduce malnutrition. Strains of rice with high iron and zinc concentrations are being developed at the International Rice Research Institute in the Philippines. The root crop cassava is being biofortified with beta carotene at the Tropical Agricultural Research Center in Cali, Colombia. The goal of this international research effort organized under a coalition called Harvest Plus, is to improve the nutritional quality of staple foods. Bonnie McClafferty is a Harvest Plus communications coordinator. What we're attempting to do is to breed the nutrients directly into staple foods. The poor of the developing world don't necessarily have access to commercially fortified foods or nutritional supplements that are often given through the public health systems. So this approach complements those other nutrition interventions. Soaring food prices and grain shortages causing unrest around the globe have created a new urgency for growing more food. Resistance to genetically modified crops, which contain genes from other organisms, no longer seems to trigger as many protests as in the past. Experts say reliance on these transgenic crops is likely to grow as the need increases for crops bred to withstand the effects of climate change. Again, Mark Rosegrand. Some of that is going to come through uh, still through conventional plant breeding. Uh, but I think also you are going to have to see a greater reliance on, on genetic modification or transgenics in the future to get these kinds of traits tailored to, to the difficult environments that we're going to see. So technological innovation will still be key to producing food, as is the case of this hydroponics experiment in Thailand, where crops are grown in water without soil. New and better ways to grow crops will always be necessary to meet the world's demand for food. Bill Rogers, VOA News.